It's not short rest. We need to use this right now. What fools these mortals be. Is this also worth right now? I don't think so. Do a shove. And fail miserably, of course. Concentration to do it. This fuck there. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Very nice. Let's go help Gale. Pop up. Yeah. Why do you attack me? What? That's weird. Very weird. <laughs> Holy shit, Shadow Step, dude. Oh. Jesus, man. There we go, chat. There we go. You can find a bot cleaner today? Sure, yeah. Because usually if it's like, you know, it starts posting... I don't know, you know, like racist shit like that. It's easy to target ban and shit, or ban against keywords and stuff. But um, I don't know, just a bunch of accounts coming in. It's all weird. Superior healing potion. That's new. I think you know the answer to that. Bye, pies. Or bye, Pizet. Join and whisper people. Don't doesn't our Discord doesn't don't Discord servers like require a email verification thing? Or do we not have it turned on or something? set it up uh, okay I can do that too I thought we had that set up already Should definitely be doing that that would probably prevent a lot of this naturally <clears throat> server settings <clears throat> get us when we did this chat safety setup DM and spam protection auto mod permissions Members must accept rules before they can talk or DM. Hide DMs from suspicious users. Filter DMs. Okay. So better set up stuff we can do here. Or I can do rather. Miss it for Moonrise. But back to the video game for now. Unless something bad happens. Miss it for Moonrise. The Graven Guard is to be delivered unharmed or mostly so immediately. Moonrise Towers cannot fulfill its destiny until the Duke has been delivered. Those who succeed will be rewarded. Those who fail will face my wrath. Then Gortash's, then mine again. General Ketheric Thorm. The Absolute's forces have taken Duke Graven Guard to Moonrise Towers. Swap this for a sec. The powerful asset. Let's go to her. Just what are their intentions, I wonder? So you just preserve. How many channels of videos do we have? Two? Are these long rest? What channel do we have? Short rest? Bruh. Holy dude. Holy dude. What the fuck, man? Still breathing. That's Gigar. As Australians would say. Oh, there's a dead squirrel. Two dead squirrels. Why aren't there three? Is it over? Is it over? 
Father, is it over? I have to keep going. Dead get the Yankee youth. Carolina. More dead get the Yankee youth. Chocolate brother, what's up, man? How's it going? It's going great. This game is incredibly addicting. And good to boot. Good to salute. Uh, let's send this over to Carlock. Oh, no, chat. Forgot to start recording. Okay, I got it now, though. Oh, well, that means we're going to be missing the first two hours. That's fine. Just rip the VOD. Um, if I go make a note to myself. Otherwise, I forgot. Bang myself. <laughs> Am I liking Monk? It's great. It's really strong so far. Really, really strong. His mobility is just madness. Like, you just cover like 100 meters in one turn. Um, we came in here. Let's go to the left, I guess. Let's say champions. Yeah, I agree. The feats were kind of... Outside of just stat, I agree. The, they were kind of meh. Um, because of the... Or, like... Some of the... No, hang on. Some of the feats were good, but all the ones that involved... Attributes. Or partial attributes were meh. And, all, and to me, at least, attributes are number one Walk right now. Walk in the way of dawn. For the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. We've had some close calls already. Weary traveler, level we one, 124 health. What's up for discussion? <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Gandalf. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I think some proper introductions are in order. Many miles, you say. Where do you hail from? Hit the country roll, old man. I'm not interested in the junk you sell or the junk you tell. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly... He's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. There's books about this guy? No, yeah, it's called The Hobbit and The Lord speak. of the Rings. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine will appear like unto me said, was a, a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it she sent me gail you know of whom i speak young man has your sojourn walked away from one or do you and i tend to go without honest fair name drink okay why some bread cheese and a cup of wine were appearing in history i don't begrudge me a mite of rest in her past before i go out with it she sent him yes gail where is your decorum i suppose we could part with a few of our rations i'm not in the habit of talk taking in vagabonds uh, and a great kindness sure. that would be. Here's some food. See, Gale? Even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... Uh, well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh. Nigh on thirteen centuries old, and he's still a mustache hair curling stomach. up and tickling my nose. We'd best follow. 
and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its I'm actually not 100% sure. So I think more so the second part, but. <clears throat> well, I suppose I'm just curious here to hear what you have to say. We'll meet him in camp later. Let him let, let him have his rest and we're passing the you know, I'm just supposed to just gonna. Wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elf Turian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Ah. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Uh, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. You're sent here as an actual divine messenger? I'm surprised she sent you in the first place after Gale's debacle. What message and what charge would that be for? Speak fast, then, for none of this pertains to me. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. <laughs> you know where you went wrong, Gale. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Even if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? You wouldn't perhaps uh, happen to know a cure, would you? Some all-powerful parasite withering spell, perhaps? They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. What the fuck are you talking do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. Yet, yet. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric. Of the universe itself. You get it, Vicky, can't that you? is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress Belief that only you can. Uh Gale alone? How so? Mr. is mistaken. I will be the absolute destroyer. Hogwash, idle beliefs and false hopes. I will do it. I doubt not your conviction. But Gale has an unnatural advantage. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Am I going to kill him in the meantime? Interesting. This could be hell. Or hindrance. We shall have to see. You yeah, we haven't seen our dream waifu in a while. The heart of the absolute. Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. 
That's monstrous. You're asking him to kill himself. Say what you will, but you can't force Gale to go through with this. We'd be rid of both the Absolute and Gale in one fell swoop. Win-win. <laughs> Holy shit. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the Absolute. So and for yeah. your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistra's promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. I mean, I'm, I can't promise he's going to be in my party, old man, but... On my honor, it shall be done. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. I'm not his keeper and do not accept your charge. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the skies children gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. Get down. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. You hear that, chap? Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Stabilize Gale's Nethers orb. Oh, was that Gale's granddad? <laughs> As Old Minister Omar, the most famous wizard in the realms. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gale if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. I don't think it was. It turns out Gale has an explosive bomb in his chest, and Mister has asked him to use it to blow it up the heart of the Absolute. <laughs> Whoa, now. He's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra... I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? He's going to fall through with it. I don't think he'd do that to himself, even if Mr. commanded it. I'm not sure. I think he's of several minds. Well, tell him to pick the right one. Or better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. <laughs> if Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gale in, you know, gentle terms. True, though. I want you to... Uh, okay, no, that's not I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale. I suppose. All right. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I'd always imagine Elminster to be more imposing. An old man with craving for cheese, hardly the great wizard of legend. You didn't seem much of a friend showing up and demanding to kill yourself. Actually, I was hoping to talk about something else. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. 
Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. Alright, stop going even on me, dude. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. Gale kind of grew on me. I don't really care much for him before, but he's like, he's all right. He's a good boy. I don't understand. Can't Mister destroy the absolute or Elminster himself? Uh, so that's it. You're on a suicide mission now. There's surely another way. What about me? Am I safe around you? Whatever you need to do, I'll be there to help. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. To take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. So that's it, you're on a suicide mission now. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gail, I promise. You're not blowing yourself up, Gail. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. We may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Well, I let him... Yeah, yo, that's up to you guys, man. You guys ought to know on Gailcock. Yeah, there's a little, the little dudes are playing together. That's a nice grass trap. Look Camp the life seems to suit the young owlbear. His coat of feathers seems fuller. His eyes look bright and inquisitive. Pet the cub. Blizzard! Blizzard! Hoot hoot. Aya vengeoi dit ce gay mimenceli so far. Leave. Pan dude, thank you for the 63! I've enjoyed the game immensely so far. Watching or playing? Or both? It is. I mean, me too, dude. Be beyond anything I imagined. I knew I'd be into it. But like, I'm like really into it. Really into it. Boon kid, don't worry, Matt. We're just fattening it up for the feast. Feast of a, of a thousand feathers. Leave. All right, animal's pet. You wish to speak? Miss, oh, we've already heard I'm this. just glad to be out here. Yep. Well, that's something. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more. But actually, listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time. Appeal to hell, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the absolute already. Talent. Nerve and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. Let me chat one sec. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, what? Well met. I saw a quite. What? What is that? An exclamation mark. Whatever. Bug display, I guess. I played the OS2, yeah. How can I help? No, I didn't really talk to you. Was Mr. O such a demanding she goddess? expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. Bequeathed. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. 
however much she's annoyed at me. Mm. Don't think it's that straightforward, Chant. Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. This is emo as fuck, dude. All right, that's enough. Now it's spicy. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fun. Oh, that's mind. fucking rich coming from her, who's like blindly following Shara's shit. Dude, Shadowheart personality is like a fucking two out of ten shit. She's just super hot. <laughs> Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Wait, they eat Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself and perhaps so many others? Maybe Mistra Does she not is the absolute. He can destroy the absolute with his own immense talents. Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be. But she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only Maybe for Maybe that was herself. an ability, Matt. <sighs> Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. Yeah, Tiramisu is okay, chat. It's like a pretty good dessert. It it's, like, it's like an A minus B plus tier dessert for me. Curious about this you must have question option. If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the undying queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Okay. Um. Did you guys see that? There's a mod out to make Lazel like not an alien, like like a hot chick, basically. Fuck me, man. You pick a wife yet? Well, I've already had sex with her twice. <laughs> but let's just make it very clear: she picked me. I think it was from, let me see. 